program. This is What's Your Story. I am Catherine Mwangi here today having an inspiring conversation with a generation of three. We start with one woman, a matriarch of the Uniroma group. We have been showing you their story the last couple of weeks and even the staff of the company, some of them have spoken highly about her. So it is a privilege of my life up until this moment to have a conversation with the founder of Unirama Group, Mrs. Nancy Godobintoro. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Thank have you. I said your name well? Yeah. Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So Unirama is 55 years old. Almost 55, yeah. Almost 55. Yeah, yeah. You started it by yourself? No, my husband started it. Oh, your husband yeah, started yeah. it. Okay. And what were those beginnings like? Uh, but, saya sendiri, dulu itu mulai kecil itu, ikut papa saya. Kita dididik oleh papa saya untuk bekerja. Jadi, papa saya itu adalah orang Chinese dari, dari Cina. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Papa saya itu mengajarkan saya itu empat hal: disiplin, jujur, kerja keras, dan harus mempunyai jiwa untuk orang banyak, bukan untuk diri sendiri. Oh wow, that is powerful. So, did you apply those principles uh, when you started the company with your husband? Uh, my father-in-law. Uh -huh. So then my husband, uh -huh. after my husband 24 hours ago passed away, uh -huh. so uh, I replaced. Uh -huh. So you replaced uh, your husband in the running, or you took over the running of the company when your husband passed on? No, we starting with my married and then I could. That is my husband. When you got yeah. married, you started yeah. the company yeah. with your husband. Yeah. So what was it like back then, almost 55, 55 years ago, um, starting a company? What was that experience like? Karena saya sudah mempunyai karakter yang dididik ayah saya itu. So saya jalankan dengan semua itu di perusahaan saya. Dan saya itu, paling penting saya itu selalu berdoa. Umpamanya kita melakukan hal itu. Tapi Tuhan tuh memberkati saya. Itu yang saya tidak tahu, yang luar biasa saya juga sendiri tidak bisa menjawab. Oh, I love that. I love hmm. that. Yeah. So, was it easy or difficult when you compare to starting a business now, back then? Um, what was the level of challenges that you had to go through to just be stable as a company? Bagi saya itu tidak ada yang susah. Soalnya saya itu ke satu pasrah, kedua saya itu uh, yang susah, yang sulit, saya buat yang gampang, yang saya ringankan. Andai kata, saya disakiti hati orang, saya rela, saya serahkan kepada Tuhan. Wow, That's, so it's about mindset. Oh, soalnya ya itu tadi saya kan sudah bilang, soalnya saya itu merasa saya hidup itu bukan untuk kita, tapi untuk orang banyak. Jadi kan saya tahu dari semua orang itu, uh, pasti kan macam-macam. Jadi kan saya melakukan hal ini pada karyawan, karyawan saya kita itu semua itu sama waktu suka duka kita bersama. I like that. So, how many uh, staff members did you start with back then? In my husband passed away, uh -huh. I did uh, three hundred. Ah, three hundred. Yeah. So when you talk about um, for you, it's about serving others and not about you. So the whole aspect of Unirama being a family business yeah. is about all the employees and not just your immediate family. You see them as your family. Oh. Soalnya kan, an, saya kan memang punya jiwa. Saya hidup ini saya, untuk orang banyak. Jadi kan saya sendiri pun tidak merasa Unirama punya saya. Saya merasa itu semua karyawan itu adalah yang punya Unirama. Jadi kan saya itu, uh, semua itu saya anggap seperti family. Karena saya merasa Unirama bukan punya saya. Dari situ loyalty, loyalnya mereka timbul, itu yang menjadi suksesnya kita. You're right to say that. And I think at this point we're going to bring in 
um, some of your employees who have worked for Unirama for a very long time, they had this to say about the matriarch of this company. Have a look. Uh, nama saya uh, Niwayan Kartini, nama lengkap. Pak, saya mulai kerja di sini the November 1992, 30 tahun. Terus owner kita itu uh, apa? Uh, seperti Dewi Kwam In, maksudnya menganggap kita tuh sebagai keluarga, karyawan itu dianggap sebagai keluarga okay. sama beliau. Pokoknya saya ingin, uh, karena kan di Unirama ini bekerja, kita dengan hati, dengan tanggung jawab, kemudian saya cuma ingin ini Unirama Group itu semakin maju, semakin sukses, uh, bisa ber, uh, berkembang di seluruh. Sangat banyak sekali. Sangat banyak. Pertama, hmm, betul. Pertama dari awal saya belum merit. Itu salah satu pokoknya keluarga, anak, suami. Kalau sakit beliau sangat memperhati. Uh, selamat siang Ibu Nancy, selamat siang Ibu Serli, selamat siang uh, Pak Sandy, selamat siang Ko Stanley, dan selamat siang Pak Robert. Uh, saya mengucapkan terima kasih. Uh, selama 30 tahun bergabung di Unirama sudah sangat sangat-sangat uh, berarti bagi saya sendiri dan keluarga saya sendiri dan begitu pun keluarga Unirama yang sangat uh, merasa um, bahagia, damai dan sangat uh, merasa diperhatikan sama beliau. Semoga Ibu Nancy sekeluarga diberi kesehatan, diberi panjang umur dan Unirama Tambah sukses di Indonesia maupun di internasional. Terima kasih Ibu Nancy, Ibu Serli, Ibu Stanley, Bapak Robert, dan semua keluarga Unirama di seluruh Indonesia dan internasional. Uh, selamat sore, uh, saya Nyoman Gede Nurjaya. Saya, saya sudah bekerja uh, sekitar 21 tahun, terutama di uh, keadaan pandemi. Kemarin semua kesehatan vitamin semua karyawan ditanggung di saat pandemi kemarin itu membuat uh, kami sebagai karyawan itu sangat uh, apa ya namanya itu sangat berkesan banget sama perusahaan ini karena yang terutama adalah bukan gaji tapi kesehatan kita diperhatikan kayak gitu kalau saya lihat dari teman-teman karyawan itu sangat berkekeluargaan banget merasa disinilah rumah kedua kita yang di ya dan dipimpin oleh Ibu Nancy yang sangat bijaksana yang mengayomi kami semua inilah membuat kami sangat tidak ingin kemana-mana dan menunjukkan dan memberikan yang terbaik buat perusahaan ini saya Nurjaya mengucapkan terima kasih banyak kepada Ibu Nancy Ibu Serli Bapak Cindy Bapak Stanley dan semua keluarga, semoga perusahaan ini tetap maju dan berkembang dan tumbuh lebih tinggi. Terima kasih. Okay, so we just played a clip of some of the employees who spoke very highly of you. Um, they feel they are part of, you know, they are part of your family. They they call you mom. You oh know? yeah. <laughs> yes, they call you they call you uh -huh. mom, and they have worked for long. What are some of the values um, that Unirama stands for? To make employees feel like that, to make them feel we are part of, we are part of this. This is our business. Oh iya, soalnya kita perhatian sama dia. Dan saya, HP saya itu 24 jam, semua karyawan 3000 boleh WA saya jika ada apa-apa. Maupun, jadi kan mereka open. Kalau andai kata mereka ada sakit, ya mereka bilang. Mereka ada sakit hati. Mereka bilang, dan saya dulu sebelum pandemi, saya keliling terus di tiap-tiap tipu, saya kumpulin. Saya mau mereka itu kerja dengan senang hati, tidak boleh di dalam hati itu ada sesuatu yang tidak berkenan. Jadi akhirnya mereka itu juga merasa ini rumah saya, ini punya saya. Itu yang poinnya. Eten. And speaking of the pandemic, we also got to learn that um, you took care of all the workers. So when businesses globally uh, were shutting down or were letting go of workers or were um, slashing their salaries, you took care of them as though there was no pandemic. Gimana hindar pandemik pada saat omset turun? Itu adalah keajaiban Tuhan kepada saya. 
Semua orang pandemik omset turun, tapi pandemik omset saya naik. Itu yang saya percaya sama Tuhan. And then, so you were not, you didn't, it, did, it made you not, uh, it didn't ground you, it didn't, it didn't uh, paralyze the business. And that's because the heart that you carry for people, you were getting your, your divine reward when others were shutting down, you were enlarging. I maintain my yang apa ada tak kerja. Kerja lebih ke lebih lebih keras lagi. Maupun saya tidak ke kantor, tapi kan saya tiap hari juga saya online, saya WA apa itu yang saya tidak terduga omset saya masih tetap growth 15%. 15 percent. Yeah. <laughs> That's a miracle indeed. Yeah. And you also take care of them. Uh, we also got to learn um, that you provide you provide housing. Um, yeah, yeah, right. For your staff. Yeah. Mas kan di di Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> so you serving others has been a practical thing for you. It's not just words. It's something that you live by. It's who you are. That's what I'm getting from your story. Oh ya, yeah. soalnya itu nanti uh, dia itu enggak tidak kredit ke bank, kredit ke perusahaan. Wow. <laughs> okay. Mm. So when the business was growing, um, I mean, celebrating 50 years of anything is a big, big milestone. Uh, when it was growing, you were also raising a family, uh, children. How are you able to balance running Unirama, especially after your husband passed on? and still making sure that on the family front things are stable and moving as they should. Soalnya saya itu juga membagi waktu. Satu contoh waktu anak-anak saya kecil. Saya pagi mengantar anak-anak saya, saya bekerja. Siang jam 12 saya sama suami saya menyebut anak-anak. Kita makan siang bersama. Setelah anak-anak tidur, saya kembali ke kantor. Setelah anak-anak bangun, jemput saya ke kantor. Jadi kita balance kan. Ah, wow. So you're spending time with the business, with your husband, and with your children. So yeah. everyone gets a piece of you. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. So let's talk about, um, again, when growing the business. Are there times you wanted to give up? Saya pernah menyerah pada saat suami saya meninggal. Suami saya meninggal itu meninggal mendadak. Pagi habis ngomong-ngomong sama saya jam 9 meninggal. Pada saat itu saya down. Soalnya saya kecewa. Saya kecewa, saya lihat waktu suami saya meninggal tidak bawa uang sepeser pun. Jadi saya mikir untuk apa saya harus kerja keras. Untuk apa saya harus terus kerja seperti ini. Lebih baik saya tutup. Waktu itu karyawan saya hanya 300, gitu. I trend. So you took it as a lesson, still in that grieving season, your husband passing on was still a lesson for you? Nah, waktu itu saya mau, mau, saya mau tutup Yuni Rama, tapi dari manajer saya, waktu malam jenazah di sini, saya duduk-duduk sama manajer semua. Saya bilang, habis ini saya tutup. Tapi Dari manajer saya bilang, jangan tutup bu, ibu bayangin kalau ibu tutup nanti serat 1200 orang langsung tidak dapat makanan. Ibu biasanya kan sosial, coba ibu pikir lagi. Dari situ membangkitkan semangat saya. So at that point there was no turning back. You you decided we are going on without my husband, yeah. no matter what. Ya, yeah, soalnya kan saya ingat. Di belakang saya itu ada 1200 orang tidak punya makan. Yang beri saya support manager itu sampai sekarang ada. Sekarang karyawan saya 5000. 5000 kali 4 kan 20000. Kemarin kita kalau e, bercanda, saya bilang sekarang dulu mikir 1200 orang. Sekarang kita harus mikirin orang 20000. Kita kalau bercanda gitu. Yes. Yes, what a testimony, what a powerful testimony that is. Yeah, your resilience in just holding on despite a dark season, you found your light 
in supporting others. Itu prinsip saya. That's powerful. That's really powerful. So, what do you think your husband would think if you were alive today, given how, what you've done with the business so far? Nanti saya sembahyang dulu. No, but I bet you'll be very proud, proud of what you have done. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, what is the meaning of Unirama? Uni. Uni itu kan, kan uni, universal. Uni kan uni. Rama is Ramatama. Ah, okay, okay. So I'll be speaking to, you, to, to your daughter maybe about the intricacies of the business. Uh, but at what point did you decide, or maybe it wasn't a decision you made, but um, at what point did your daughter join the business? Oh, anak saya kan mulai kecil, kita kan setiap sore dia menyemput, jadi dia tiap hari lihat juga ikut serta, kadang-kadang anak-anak itu kalau anda kata pulang belum malam, belum selesai, dia bantu ngitung uang. Jadi anak saya itu mulai kecil, seperti saya mulai kecil bantu saya, nah, anak saya mulai kecil juga bantu saya. Jadi kan ya nggak tahu mulai kapan, jadi kan mereka ya terdidik bantu saya. Okay, hmm. okay. So, so then a point had to come where did you, did you um, take lesser responsibilities and then she took a bit more responsibilities? Was that natural or you decided that uh, by this time, this year, sh we are interchanging roles? How did that happen? Pasti, itu pasti. Pasti. Tapi kan sekarang sudah saya kan sudah semi pensiun. Nah, nanti saya akan digenerasi untuk Shirley. Soalnya uh. dia visinya lebih tinggi dari saya. Yes. Yeah. So fa so first generation then the second generation yeah. and and God has blessed you to see your third generation. Yes, as well um for Stanley. What does that feel like for you, you know, just seeing your family uh uphold your values and knowing that one day they will run this business and perhaps even take it to the next level. Saya akan monitor, tapi plan saya, kalau anda kata saya sudah pensiun, saya tetap mantau, tapi saya cita-cita saya, saya mau suruh mereka untuk go publik perusahaan saya. Dan saya sendiri, saya tidak mau berhenti kerja, saya mau buka uh, Panti modern untuk orang tua. Jadi kan saya akan kerja di situ, tapi untuk or uh, panti orang tua itu cita-cita saya. It's <laughs> amazing. So, so there's no stopping for you. Lo, soalnya di, di panti itu kan intinya kan saya sudah masuk panti. Soalnya kan saya saya masuk panti pasti anak-anak tidak -anak tidak mengizinkan saya masuk panti. Tapi kan saya kalau masuk di panti itu saya minutes anak-anak kan intinya pasti boleh. Jadi kan saya mikir apa yang next saya kalau pensiun. Kalau saya pensiun di rumah nanti cepat pikun. Oh, I see. Hmm. So so you want to manage the retirement house. Yeah. <laughs> It's really good. So do you regret anything? Do you have any regrets in your journey so far? Enggak. Saya orangnya itu uh, relax saya orangnya itu pasrah. Jadi kan saya itu enggak ada enggak pernah menyesal karena kalau saya menentukan sesuatu itu saya pikir tujuh kali. Tapi kalau se sudah saya tentukan saya tidak akan menyesal. Oh, I hope to get there someday and not regret things. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but um, as a female entrepreneur for all those decades um, What would your advice be to, to women, especially women in business who, because of perhaps maybe our nature, uh, our soft nature, we, we at times feel we want to give up when times are hard, uh, we make a mistake, we regret it, uh, we shut down maybe for, because as the days go by, things become tougher and especially now in a recession. But what would your advice be to female entrepreneurs anywhere in the world? Kalau sekarang saya lebih sadar, paling penting itu sekarang sehat. Gimana kita buat diri kita sehat itu yang paling penting. Cara saya, saya sendiri, 
saya maintain kesehatan saya saya jaga nutrisi saya jaga tidur saya saya juga maintain tidak mau stres jadi kan semua saya maafkan supaya saya terus bisa sehat yang penting itu sekarang sehat I'm learning a lot for, hmm. from you what are your hopes for your grandchildren? mengharapkan cucu saya itu bisa maintain Yuni Rama ini jangan cucu saya saya semua sama karyawan saya saya ma, anaknya cucunya saya masukkan Yuni Rama jadi Yuni Rama ini yang dipimpin oleh cucu-cucu saya ini juga dipimpin oleh cucu-cucu karyawan jadi kan saya itu berharap Yuni Rama ini adalah perusahaan yang generasi terus menerus event dalam karyawan saya sekarang sudah banyak yang sudah ada tiga generasi yang sudah ikut saya jadi opa anak ada soalnya anda kata mereka itu nggak kan HP saya open 24 jam mereka kalau mau masuk sekolah nggak punya uang minta saya kasih oh, okay. your spirit is very grounded this this speaking to you these um there's a very humble yes that's what I'm looking for there's, there's a very humble nature to your spirit what is the role spirituality has had in forming the person that you are today saya memang orangnya simple dan saya sadar kalau anda kata saya satu hari besok pagi saya meninggal itu saya belajar dari suami saya semua saya tidak bawa jadi kan saya pasti harus low profile ah. buat apa sombong-sombong kan gitu <laughs> wow. any final words Ibu Nancy saya berharap kamu akan berkunjung ke sini lagi <laughs> saya juga berharap kamu sebagai family saya oh don't make me cry thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you it's I mean it's just been such an honor for me and not just for me but also for my colleague charity and I believe everybody here who's listening to this story to just have gleaned from your wisdom and, and from your spirit we have conversations like this with a lot of people but ultimately it's the spirit that shines through and, and yours shines through authentically and organically and I thank you for giving us the time to have this conversation. I juga sangat bangga ibu bisa kita bisa ketemu hari ini dan ibu berkenan ke rumah saya. Dan saya saya juga yakin pertemuan kita ini pasti Tuhan akan yang memberi kita. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo! I cannot have a long closing for this one. Take that in. We will be taking a very short commercial break. Don't go too far. You know already by now that the company will be bringing in some product to Kenya and we shall be delving into that and also her daughter's story comes into the play after this commercial break. We will be speaking to the second generation Ibu Shirley, I'm reading her name, Chandra Hadipurnomo. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You look amazing. <laughs> you look really good. Thank you. And translating for us is her son, Mr. Stanley. His story will be coming up as well, but let's first deal with the mother's story today. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. Yeah? Thank you. The, the, the home is beautiful. This is a beautiful home. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So tell me about your childhood. What was it like growing up and being raised by Ibu Nancy? Mama saya membesarkan saya dengan cinta kasih, dengan kejujuran, integrity, hmm. dan uh, cinta orang tua dan cinta sesama. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. What are some of the childhood memories you can share with us? Ibu saya selalu setiap hari dan set pagi dan setiap sore, siang selalu menjemput saya sekolah dan dan mengantar saya sekolah dan selalu taking care saya sampai pada hari ini. Oke. Okay. And she always keeping me. Uh -huh. Through the worst up now. Oh. 
<laughs> up to now. Yeah. Up to now in your in your early forties. Yeah. So and growing up with other siblings, your brothers, your sisters, what was that like? I have one brother mm-hmm. and I have one sister. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they love me and they love each other. Yeah. 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 So you grew up as a very close family. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. When we spoke to Ibunansi, your mom, the matriarch, um, she talked about a very hard time in her life uh, when she lost her husband, your dad. What was that like? Can you remember? Uh, Ibu saya kaget dengan kepergian ayah saya karena kepergian ibu ayah saya ini sangat mendadak dengan heart attack. Okay, what do you remember about your dad? What can you tell us about him? Papa saya mengharapkan saya bekerja di Nirama saat itu. Tetapi setelah saya graduate dari sekolah, saya tip, saya bekerja dulu di tempat orang lain. Sehingga saat saya sehingga saat papa saya meninggal, saya berjanji saya harus kembali ke Yuni Rama dan saya mau membesarkan Yuni Rama sampai pada hari ini. But you're keeping even now. Yes. So your mom told us that she would pick you from school, uh, you and your siblings, and um, you know you were always around the business, like you were even counting money together. Uh, after a long day of hard work, you would count you would count the money together. Would you say that's why your passion for business was born during those moments? Uh, saya melihat mama saya tuh setiap hari bekerja di dalam bidang distribusi itu mengumpulkan uang dari uang kecil dari uang lima ribu rupiah dari uang koin ditumpuk jadi satu lima ribu dikumpulkan dari yang geres baru geres sampai yang lama dan kita harus kita kareti satu-satu dari situ saya melihat saya harus bisa membuat mama saya happy so the training started at, the, at a very young age yeah. for you like you learned everything no one can teach you you know everything about this business yeah soalnya saat saya kecil ibu saya jualan barang dari produk Unilever ini itu mulai dari bawa mobil sendiri dan anaknya juga diajak naik mobil untuk berjualan di pinggir jalan what do you remember about that and what values did he instill in you Papa saya dan mama saya tidak pernah bertengkar. Kita keluarga selalu kereta keluarga itu selalu bahagia dan sejahtera. Dan dia selalu discuss about business at home. No fighting. No, never. Wow. Okay. So we visited the uh, the factories in in yes in Pati and uh, Surabaya. Yes. And we saw the warehouse in uh, Bali. So let us look at some of those shots so that you understand just how big the Unirama Group operation really is. Do I close my eyes or do I open them? Oh, no, 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 let's do it. Don't no close your eyes. I close. Yeah. No, 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 Ooh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Ronnie Imbar is the president of Unirama Group, which was established in 1971 as UD Ramayana, a Surabaya based family business, which then became PT Unirama Dutaniaga in 1999. Jambo Jambo. Jambo Buana. Jambo. <laughs> And then you have to put it your hand for the chlorine. Another chlorine. This is a chlorine. For uh, yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's uh, like that. Yeah. Then go to the second. Yeah. The company deals with manufacturing, processing, and packaging of consumer goods. The main factory is situated in Pati, a town that's 158 miles from Surabaya. This is the fish product, and then uh, next will be uh, our uh, another chicken. 
We've visited the factory to establish the manufacturing process of the products they package and distribute. We have uh, this area is about total 50,000 50, and there is uh, 80,000 meters are all the facility, including the cold storage. Unirama Party Factory sits on 5,000 hectares, that's about 124,000 acres of land with a staff count of about 5,000 employees. Chicken, fish, prawns, etc. are processed here and packaged in this factory. This is just one of the factories owned by Unirama. We had a tour at the Surabaya factory, PT Ramaputra, a subsidiary of Unirama Group, which was founded in 2017. The company deals with frozen food processing. They have a variety of product types supported by an experienced team that makes Leza, Hana Rose and Genjos. The brand prides with quality fish and chicken products ready for consumption. So let's talk about the manufacturing uh, side of business, the, the Unirama manufacturing. So you expanded the business into that. Yes. Um, how did that come about for you? Karena cita-cita mama saya tuh adalah membawa Unirama ini ke publik. Kalau Unirama distribusi bawa ke publik, berarti saya harus bi bisa mempunyai manufacturer sendiri dan target saya adalah omsetnya Unirama itu ada, harus adalah 50% dari omset Unirama ini adalah dari manufacturer kita sendiri. So what then led you to think of frozen foods? You could have picked anything to manufacture. Why was frozen foods an attractive business for you? Uh, saya memilih frozen food. Ini juga suatu berkah. Se sebelum pandemik itu kita sudah buka frozen food. Tetapi saat pandemik itu frozen food sangat disukai dan dibutuhkan dengan masyarakat khususnya di Indonesia. Dan ini sekarang kapasiti produksi sudah over capacity dan kita harus memenuhi kapasitas permintaan pasar. Stuff of genius, eh? Right? <laughs> no. Okay, and and just staying just a little bit uh, to the pandemic. When the rest of the world people are getting their jobs slashed or losing their jobs or their salaries slashed, Unirama kept everybody afloat. Mama saya lebih sabar, <laughs> lebih pengertian, uh, lebih pasrah. Jadi mama saya treat karyawan itu, karyawan itu es apa ya dan di dalam perusahaan kita kita saya mempunyai moto bisa nggak bisa harus bisa <laughs> wow whether it's possible or not it has to be possible yeah. there's no other way yep uh, we have to try first uh, yeah. try yeah. so we are not giving up just because we have to try yeah I love that spirit I absolutely love that spirit we are going to continue this conversation with Ibu Shelly where we get to learn more about her family, how is it running an international conglomerate and raising a family, boy and a girl, as well as what are their plans for Kenya? Uh, Mr. Sandy, how are you? Good. Yeah? How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm great, thank you. I see you wearing batik. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. So tell me about how your husband has been a support to you in running the business. Dia uh, membantu. Uh, di Nirama dalam bidang distribusi dan uh, SNB uh, anak perusahaan Nirama distribusi ice cream. So what can you tell me about your children? I think to be honest, uh, Stanley is more like his mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In which way? 
in many ways. <laughs> okay. That's, okay. I mean, that's my opinion. Okay. Yeah, from from the way I look at at uh, my wife and Stanley. Yeah, the same yeah. person. <laughs> similar. Yeah. Okay. Quite similar. Quite similar. Yeah. So yeah. personality, yeah. character traits, mm. the same. I guess. You agree with that, Ibushani? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> What are your dreams for your children, Ibu Shali? Saya uh, bermimpi, saya kepingin anak saya bisa menjadi generasi penerus yang ketiga untuk membesarkan Yuni Rama Distribution Company dan uh, Rama Putra in Manufacturing Company. As a couple running an international business, and I know you export to different countries, right? Yeah. Would you like to share which ones those are? Where, where do you export uh, your frozen foods products to? Uh, Brunei, mm. oh, okay. Hong Kong, uh -huh. and of course Kenya. Ah, coming soon. Eh? Coming soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me more about your products. Uh, our product frozen food mm -hmm. focus on chicken nugget, mm -hmm. uh, chicken karaoke, something like all about chicken. <laughs> Everything chicken. And then uh something about it. And the dry good uh -huh. is a uh, coconut cream. cream. Uh -huh. And the flour. Uh -huh. So those are your products at the moment. Yes. You also handle agency and property? Yes. Could you speak to that a bit? The agency saya mempunyai uh Kita menjadi pihak ketiga daripada company. Jadi kalau seperti SPG itu kita mempunyai sekitar 5000 orang. Dan saya mempunyai kantor uh, percabangan di office di seluruh Indonesia. We are the third generation and the young man is only 16 years old, Stanley Hendorto. Have I said that right? Yes. Yeah, we'll stick to Stanley. <laughs> How are you? Good, good. Thank Has you. someone told you look like those K-pop stars and K-pop stars? Yeah. Wrong country. <laughs> Chinese, not, not not Korean. But they're Korean. I know, right? Yeah, but Korean. you kind of have that vibe going on with you. No one it's has said that to you. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when you put on like stunners and things. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay, I'm the first one. Best yeah. believe it. But anyway, welcome to the show. Thank you. So I first met this young man. And we were sitting at the dinner table, and, and I just observed a few things about him. I'm just laying the groundwork for, for the audience. And I remember saying to Charity the same evening, and I said to this, just something about that young man. Like, you are just so proper. For a 16-year-old, I was very, very blown away by that. Thank you. But tell me, what can you tell me about yourself? What kind of guy are you? I don't know. I've always been um, a visionary, I think. Oh, I love that. Like, future-oriented. like future -oriented Yeah. And, like, just seeing um, what's up. What's next? You yeah. Know, what's next? Yeah. For me and for, um, for the world in general. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you say you've always been future oriented, tell me some of the things that run through your mind. I love how um, our generation becomes one of this so-called um, hardest generation where we have climate change coming up, yeah. where we have this just globalization. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, through that, there's always just possibilities yeah. in, in struggle. Mm. Mm. There's never been a generation like us who's like just faced through this, right? And then we have technology, we have modernization and all that, which is just exciting. And and your free time, like what are your talents? I do um, I do like my music, both listening and playing to them. You play? I play, yeah. What? Uh, it's, I've always um, played the drums since a very young age. So drums are a thing of yours. Drums are a thing of me. Yeah, yeah. For real? Like when you play, what does that do for you? I um, do church service like every week, um, and like I play part of the band. I haven't met a teenager who serves in church yet. Yet. I know they exist, but I haven't. It's the first time I'm meeting one. So how do you? S how come you serve in church? What 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 role does spirituality play in your life? As I think about it, mm -hmm. and like what to live <laughs> for, <laughs> um, the only way to live is to live for a bigger um, bigger thing than me. Do you feel the pressure of being um, the third generation 
where Unirama Group is concerned? Do you like feel you have such huge shoes to feel? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. see. I see myself in a position where I understand where there's responsibility, but then you've also got to see the possibility where you can this, you know, this magnitude, mm. this size of a company, mm. and where you can bring it. And definitely, like, it does. It doesn't stop here. Yeah, it can't. It, like, it can't. I can't just <laughs> no. live to maintain this. It can't be. It can't go down in under your watch. No. Uh, I mean, in God's in God's will, yeah. Mm, I see. Have you had to um, fight any challenges or battles at a personal level? I know you're still very young, yeah. but have you had to overcome some things? Challenges. Yeah. I mean, magnitude of them. Yeah. Like what? Um, understanding like the pressure, maybe. One of them being, yeah, just knowing how, um, why there would be so much pressure. And being in other people's perspective, you know, it really gives you more, um, you, you understand them. It's empathy. Mm, mm. Does the attention bother you? The attention? Attention, uh, yes. <laughs> do, is it too much light on, on at you? At times, yes, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how do you balance? How Tension, do you Tension, which becomes pressure, yeah? Yeah. Which becomes pressure and, yeah. Yeah, so... But when you know, diamonds, diamonds, um, diamonds, diamonds are made under pressure. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 I hear you. No, I mean, no, no, you're just no, no. killing me with your depth. You, you have it already. You, you get it. So you understand that you just, like I said before, you're being sculpted. So y the fact that you're aware of it, y the whole test is done. You've passed the test. No. I kid no, you not, no, because no, when no, you're not no, aware, no. that's where the problem is. Exactly. Yeah, but you have such a high le s um, level of awareness. That's, that's all him. Yeah. It's all him. That's all him. I love it. Are you going to sing for us? <laughs> no. No. You're going to have to pay for that, yeah? <laughs> and it's about others, isn't it? It's yeah. about others. <laughs> How come I'm paying for yourself? <laughs> no, no, no. No. Okay. no singing. No singing. No singing. Okay, so... Once you're done with university, hopefully that's, you know, when perhaps, I don't know who knows what God's plans are, but, you know, Unirama comes into the fore. Yeah. And I have even tried thinking of if, if it was handed over to you today. Definitely, on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what comes through your mind? I feel like Unirama needs to be, you know, yeah, I mean, oh, Tell Lord, me. Just, just Tell this me. whole thing, right? Um, no, I see... Again, um, the responsibility, but also the possibility. Mm. Just daydreaming about what if this, what if that, what if you put this, this, what, what if just... And I'm so grateful and I know I get that I'm in a position where it's one in seven billion, no one... It's, yeah. I'm yeah. really grounded in the fact that I know that this is not a opportunity that I get, that anyone gets on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -mm. And... Um, um, talking about how um, thinking um, thinking of that position one day it excites me, but also it like um, it warns me yeah. about how yeah. how prideful mm. I can get, mm. which I make sure you know just staying grounded yeah. is the most important part. Yeah, yeah, and I think you're already in the right path, especially because you you give you're giving every credit to God. And so because he's your grounding, and especially at such a young age, yeah, you yeah. can be sure he, he has your back and, and your front. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And especially interviewing um, my grandma. Yeah. I love how she said that um, our hard work is nothing, not, not without him, right? Mm. And it's true. Like, you could work your butt off mm. till... Yeah. Yeah. It sinks it's if he's not in the mix. Yeah, so you cannot be this genius and you haven't won some awards in life. Which ones have they been? No, in no, no, <laughs> in no, school, no, no, in no, life, no, no. I don't know. I've, I've actually never wanted to be a businessman. I've never actually, you know, it's, it was not, it was not, um, it was not, I would. Uh, what did you want to be? I wanted to be an actor. An actor? Yes. Ah, okay. So. It was never a plan. It was never my thing to, you know, to become this <laughs> business figure. Because <laughs> growing up, 
seeing my parents and all that. Yeah. It like dis dis disgusted me, you know? <laughs> seeing everyone becoming the same thing. <laughs> like like everyone's the same thing. Um and yeah, but as time went by, um as time went by, yes. Um so I knew I knew an actor, huh? Yeah. So, so I even went um so there was this premiere program. Yeah. Where um, they'd um, have the auditions in Singapore, uh -huh. they choose a few, and then you'd be flown to Orlando in um, Disney Florida? World. Florida, uh huh. And then um, you'd have this chance to like do your own monologue, do your runways, and all that. Just this whole set of um, becoming an actor, right? Yeah. And they'd have um, agencies, just a bunch of agencies um, sitting there. And they just have the opportunity to like scout for to these scout, um, yeah. new, new talents, right? Yeah. This was like 2016, 2017. Wow, just the other day. Just the other day, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I went well there. Like, so I was contacted by 10 agencies. 10? Yes, 10. And I got um, like an honorable mention. Wow. Yeah, but, um, but then, you know, when it's, God's, when it's not God's plan, it yeah. just doesn't work out. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, out of those ten agencies, one of the um, one of the um, requirements was to move there. I uh -huh. mean, obviously for like casting and all that. Right. right? But it just never works, and no. that's that's how I also like understood. You know, maybe there's just there's a Another there's a path. different purpose. Yes. So Thank it's you. something that you did, and you put that aside for a greater purpose. Thank admirable, you. admirable. Okay. Thank so we have some teenagers watching you. Um, in Kenya and of course uh, globally through our live stream platforms and they're listening to you and thinking you must be 17 not 16 because no, 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 of no, what no, you're no. oozing but I want you to look into the camera and, and just speak to guys like you you know what mm -hmm. everybody's going through in the world it doesn't matter where they come from but they're teens I don't know what teen teenage issues are I, I, I was there like what two years ago uh, but <laughs> <laughs> It was a blur, yeah? yeah it's just a blur, you know, <laughs> just two years, man. Who's counting? But, <laughs> but I want you to, to turn there and just have a conversation yeah. with your people watching. Um, you know, it's so cliche how they say never give up and um, always work hard. It's such a cliche thing, but I truly believe that, um, that never giving up is such a simple thing, but a hard thing to do on a day-to-day -day basis in everything you do. Um, I mean, just having a commitment to um, wake up in the morning or never giving up on that or never giving up on um, other people, that's, that's a key thing, you know? And um, I just want people to dream high, yeah? And especially in our world right now, whatever their dreams were, um, that was, that's, that's, not, that's not a that can't be a benchmark for us, you know? Mm. 20, 30 years ago, um, billionaires weren't a thing. You mm. know? People couldn't imagine s an individual having a billion dollars, but now let's see these billionaires having 100 billion dollars. That's why um, dream as high as you can, and in the process of achieving that dream, never, ever give up. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I would say. You know, <coughs> I have a confession to make. So after we met uh, during the trade minister's interview, I said to Charity, my prayer for you will be that God gives you a good wife because <laughs> I would not want to see a woman come and just distort that. For real, for real. <laughs> and, amen, and amen. Yeah, amen. so I'm just hoping when that time comes, like she will be as solid and stable and humble and God-fearing as you are. But... Dude, man, thanks. Thank Amazing you. that this generation's terms, mm -hmm. dude, and things. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, it's bro. bro. It's bro now. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, back yeah. to bro. bro. So we're back to the 70s. Yeah, it's always going it's back. Always, it's always going back. Yeah. But, but thank you for sharing your story. Thank you, you are so inspiring. Thank you for inspiring. wanting to interview me. <laughs> <laughs> <Am I? laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. A few years from now, we'll catch up and see where you're at. Good. Thank you so Love much. Us, yeah? But thank you. And just to recap for you, the story of this young man's grandmother and his mother and his dad, just so you know where this is coming from, okay? After that, you know, it's goodbye from me, from us here in Jakarta. Take care of yourselves. 
God bless you. Keep him at the center of your life, as Isaac Man said.